I think actually what's interesting about Beethoven, and I feel this in general with many composers, you often get, a, it's important to understand their life. And Beethoven, perhaps because of his deafness, he left many, many documents as to his inner feelings. Because for him to communicate with his contemporaries, he couldn't hear them. So he had to write down his feelings, and they had to write back to him. So there's a lot of literature on what Beethoven wrote and thought about. And I think if you read this, it gets you more inside his soul as a person because you understand how he was thinking. Um, he has many very wise views of, about life. And I think it's helped me a lot to understand him, to read his letters and his writings. Uh, he's such an interesting man. And recently I read a book about his physical problems. Everyone knows he was deaf. <laughs> but that was the smallest part, in a way, of his sicknesses. He had so many painful conditions. His stomach, his intestines, his liver, his kidneys, they were all shot, kaput. At the end of his life, they did an autopsy. And oh, I won't even tell you. It's just terrible. And you think, how does a man who has so much physical suffering be able to express such joy in music. It's really a gift of God. And to read about him and to understand his life helps you to understand his music uh, because he really transcends suffering and he brings such mean, inner meaning to life. It's very inspiring. For me, the Beethoven Concerti are one of the best concertos for both the piano and the orchestra, especially the fourth. The second piano concerto is written, actually the second piano concerto he wrote first. It's called second because it was published after the first one. But he wrote it first, and the difference is very interesting. It's much more a soloist with orchestra. The fourth piano concerto is much more like Jacek and I talked about a symphony, in that the orchestral part is integrated in with the piano solo part. And it's impossible to really play the piano part well without understanding the orchestration at the same time. So it's a very, very great work, and it's one of my favorite works. <laughs>